Hey, what is going on guys? This is Giants Are Life. What's up YouTube? I am uh, making my second video now. I am going to try to be much more entertaining than my first one because my first one was kind of lame. I was kind of just talking about random crap and uh, essentially talking very boring. And I'm not a boring person. I don't find myself a boring person, so I'm just going to, you know, try and uh, do this. Obviously, I just completed some league crap, so I'm going to be filling that out as I give this intro. Uh, and I got an achievement. I didn't really get an achievement for that. I haven't really checked out any of the achievements this year. But anyways, we are going to be headed in to do uh, the NFL game plan set. Reason being, I don't. I usually end up doing the NFL game plan set just because it's a free pack. And uh, this week is especially good because it gives you an ultimate freeze pack, which is essentially the same exact fucking thing as an all-pro pack. Or not an all-pro pack, a premium pack. Except uh, instead of getting the same kind of uh, normal crap that you get... With the uh, silver players and the gold, you actually get two frozen collectibles, and obviously getting frozen collectibles is a very desirable thing you would do, uh, considering that it is Christmas time. Yay! <clears throat> and so uh, I'm just going to be uh, knocking through easily th this uh, scrimmage event. The scrimmage events are jokes, legit jokes. Last season, I think I did one scrimmage event, and that was because I needed a bronze trophy, and where do you go when you need a bronze trophy and don't want to hit the auction block? A scrimmage event. And, uh, this season they actually have the game plan thing, which only comes in scrimmage events, which means so many more, so much, bleh, so many more, so much more, I don't know, grammar, uh, so many more, so much more people, so many much more people are going to be doing them, obviously, because it leads to free packs. They also do that on the, uh, primetime halftime, when there is a Thursday night football game or a Monday night football game. I believe they also do it on Sunday night football game, I am not positive. About that one, because usually on Sunday night I am still watching football, and uh, don't hit Madden very often on Sundays just because football time. But anyways, I have just completed the game plan set, which means I can do the game plan event, which is just to run through the obstacle course. Easy, <clears throat> easy work here. Let's see this obstacle course. And so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and knock straight through this. Oh, this is this is a joke. A lot, a lot of these live events this year are jokes. Oh wow, almost got caught there. Looked like like an action scene where like someone's being chased down. The uh, obstacle courses are really cool. I'm surprised they don't do as much with them as they do. They do they do quite a bit with them, but I mean they could do a lot more. They can make bigger obstacle courses. They can make intricate obstacle courses. They can make like one with the whole field. And we're gonna open up this ultimate freeze pack. Hopefully I can get anything besides a logo, because those are essentially guaranteed. But yeah, we uh, start off with two seventy sevens. Uh, crap. Uh, we got a kick returner. And Frozen Logo Bears, Marcus Gilchrist, DeMarco Murray. That actually made a lot of coins. That made a, that made a lot of coins. I'm surprised whenever I pull an Elite because I don't really pull that many Elites. So we got the Bills and the Bears. Uh, I'm going to throw those into sets sometime. I'm um, not really positive. But I did just go through the game plan and it was uh, quite quick. I opened up my pack. And so, um, yeah, I wanted to give uh, my first goal as a YouTuber is going to be um, to be much more entertaining, to be honest. I actually have a member of my league who uh, uploaded a video. I will most likely leave his YouTube uh, link in the description. Uh, it's because I'm going to try and help him out. Maybe we'll do like a collab or something someday. Probably not. But yeah, until then, I'm going to be doing this. And I actually wasn't just trying to do the game plan. I am also trying to do my very first rant. And you're probably looking at me like, oh great, you're, you're two videos in. You're already complaining about crap. I am two videos in. I'm already complaining about crap. Because I have something very big to complain about, as if you guys don't know, Odell Beckham was suspended for one game, and I'm a huge Giants fan, so obviously I have to talk about that. And I would not be ranting about it if Odell Beckham deserved it, but I actually feel he doesn't. A lot of people are going to disagree with me, a lot of people are going to think you're an idiot, or a lot of people are just going to think I'm riding Odell's dick, like the rest of the NFL seems to be. But let me, uh, let, hear me out, hear me out. So, um, Odell Beckham. He, he uh, was suspended for playing very aggressively. A lot of people were surprised he didn't get kicked out, mainly because he was hitting Norman pretty hard. He was doing some stuff that could give Norman concussions, some basically very, very no-no kind of crap in the NFL. That's the stuff that you don't want to see any player do. Like um, when he ran back, he hit Norman with his helmet at, on his head, and uh, obviously that could have hurt Odell as well, but it had a much better chance to hit Norman because Odell was pre prepared for it. Norman obviously wasn't. But here's the thing. Uh, most of the game, if you watched it, Norman was initiating a lot of crap. He he would initiate it in a very passive way compared to what Odell did. And Odell retaliated 
Uh, again, I'm going to say Odell is not is did not do anything right when he retaliated. He retaliated in a very serious way, a way that probably should have been getting him kicked out of the game or suspended. But to be honest, I don't feel that he should be suspended under a couple certain grounds. The first, I know that a lot of people are going to get mad at me, and a lot of people are going to see uh, flaws in the logic of this, but Tom Brady cheated at the AFC Championship, and he, he didn't get punished. The Patriots would be having four big losses on their formerly undefeated for, like, ten games straight record if uh, and be going, like, six and four at the beginning because they had to start with Jimmy Garoppolo if Brady didn't get through it. I believe that the final ruling was because it was listed nowhere in the rule book that you can't do that which is BS because that's like if I walked in to a bank and robbed it at a water gun point, obviously there's going to be no rule, no law that says that you can't use threaten someone with a water gun, uh, even if I like spray paint it to look like a gun, so then I kind of get away with it. Like that's BS. That doesn't happen. That's not how that's going to work. But anyways, I'm mostly going to complain about uh, Josh Norman. Uh, Josh Norman is a good guy in my opinion. Josh Norman's okay. I have seen videos of him fighting Cam Newton in the, uh, I'm not sure if it was a preseason or what, uh, and obviously he was playing immaturely against Odell, I am going to say that. He was not being mature, he did do a lot wrong, Odell did a lot wrong too, but Josh Norman was being very wrong. Uh, Josh Norman initiated a lot of the fighting. Josh Norman shoved Odell. Uh, of course, this did not merit the response of Odell to smash him in the head, but Josh Norman did uh, hit him, and then Josh Norman proceeded to, instead of walking away, he ran over to Odell. Also, before the game, Odell was yelling at the Panthers, probably just trying to get hype, probably trying to get mad. Uh, a lot of football players do that. If you get mad at someone before you start to play, uh, obviously you have a much better chance at playing well if you uh, play with your emotions. Odell does play with his emotions, that you can see it. Uh, especially this season, he's starting to get mad a lot more, which is not good. But, um... He's definitely playing well, considering that he is under two curses. He's under the sophomore curse and the Madden curse, if you believe in superstitions and stuff. Um, and he is playing very well for having those two curses under him. Obviously, he's not playing to what I believe is his full potential, but he is playing very nicely. And uh, so Josh Norman, at the end, uh, Odell, in an interview, this was all posted on um, the NFL official YouTube page. Uh, and I'm sure it was on NFL Network too. My TV does no longer get NFL Network because uh, money. And um, uh, Josh Norman, he uh, at the end of the game, they interviewed him, and Norman was saying it just kind, of, it just shows you what kind of player he is. It just shows you what kind of player he is over and over and over again. And that when they asked Odell about it, Odell obviously did not want to talk about it. Like after you like punch someone in the face, you're not gonna immediately want to go up to a teacher and be like, "Well, I punched him directly in his face." You're not gonna want to do that. So. Odell, um, talking to him about that, and Odell, Odell against Josh Norman was a bad matchup, Odell basically just kept saying the entire time, uh, oh, well, uh, it's, it's bad to lose, and they're like, well, how do you feel about what you did to, uh, Josh Norman, he's like, it's bad to lose, and they're like, like, it, you can't answer that way, that's not a proper answer, you could go out and say, um, I'm not, like, no reaction, you don't have to answer them. But you could just go with the Marshawn Lynch approach and say, I'm, I'm just here so I don't get fined. And, um, but Odell, uh, clearly, I don't think he deserves this. Because Josh Norman, to the point in which I'm making this video, has yet to be punished. He has not had anyone even remotely similar to the NFL talking over to him. But before the game, you could see Odell arguing with the other team, getting fired up, like I was saying earlier, and stopped the train of thought because I'm an idiot. But he was talking to the other team, and then someone comes over with a bat, Ron Rivera's bat. But if I'm screaming at your team or something or trying to get pumped, I don't know what he was doing, if he was, like, trying to get pumped or if he was legitimately mad at them or both. But he's yelling at them. When someone comes over with a baseball bat. I don't know who it was. He looked white, so he probably wasn't Josh Norman, not to, like, sound racist or anything. But, hey, not racism because Josh Norman is black, or at least half black from what he looks like. I'm not sure what his ethnicity is. And now I sound like a racist prick. <laughs> but anyways, Josh Norman obviously played uh, very hard, and I think he should be punished in some way. But the thing is, they, the NFL, the first person they targeted was not the one that uh, initiated the contact. It was the one that retaliated. And it was the one that plays on a team that is struggling heavily just to make it into the playoffs. They were playing against a team 
that has a very low chance of even making the playoffs if they can win the next two games straight. And the other team that they didn't punish or didn't even talk about is 14-0. and If they lose the next two games, they're still like probably going to be the number one team in the entire NFC East. Unless, like, the Cardinals manage to win. That's when it, but, like, that's very unlikely. I'm, I'm not sure how the tiebreaker would go there. But they're probably, like, 99% chance going to win the NFC East. So, and they're, like, pulling starters in, like, the second quarter. So they, and plus, Josh Norman's a cornerback. Wide receivers and cornerbacks are two different things. There are a lot more cornerbacks than there are wide receivers, like, available for the Panthers. Odell Beckham is our best wide receiver by far. Our other receivers are Ruben Randall. We got Hakeem Nix, who uh, has been seeing a tragic, uh, low, tragically low amount of play. I'm very upset about that. Next week, if Odell's taking out, taken out, I would imagine Hakeem Nix moving up to the number two position, or at least getting a ton of uh, playtime, because currently he's being placed underneath Dwayne Harris. I believe he's like the fifth string receiver. I want to say it goes Odell, Ruben Randall, Dwayne Harris. Um. I think Hakeem Nix, and if not Hakeem Nix, then some crappy guy that they're making a huge mistake by putting in he- ahead of Hake- Hakeem Nix. But yeah, Nix is a very good player and everything. And so uh, Hakeem Nix uh, is not really what I want to talk about. Odell should not be suspended. If he could be, he should be appealing it, first of all. But if anything, I really am not going to sit here for like 20 minutes and cry about how Odell suspended. I'm just going to say, Punish Josh Norman. Give Josh Norman, Josh Norman a fine or something. But, like, in my opinion, the NFL is horrible on punishments. They hardly follow through on, like, the big punishments against the big players because the players appeal it, and they're such great players. Like, Odell is widely looked at as one of the better receivers, obviously loved by a lot of NFL uh, fan base members, uh, whether you're a Giants fan or not. Uh, Odell's a pretty cool guy that everyone really loves. Uh, just like Tom Brady. Tom Brady, like, very loved player, very respected player among a lot of the NFL. You you can't really uh, complain about uh, Tom Brady that, that much. And so uh, Tom Brady obviously did not get uh, in trouble for the reasons I already said. Sorry about that. Someone just came down. I'm going to cut that out in a second. You probably won't even see what it was because I cut it. But anyways, uh, again, I just want to say something real quick. Uh, um, Before I leave, you guys, I am just going to say uh, Josh Norman should be punished in some way. Some form he should be punished. And even though I don't feel fines do much in the NFL, if you fine an NFL player $500, that's like finding a normal person making like a normal salary a penny. It's like saying, oh, you just beat the crap out of that guy? Great, give me a penny. You know how many other guys I could beat the absolute crap out of? You're just going to make me pay a penny? Because NFL players make a lot of money. The the league minimum is like $250,000 a year. That is more than most people will make in their whole lives. And the league minimum is mostly being paid to guys who spend their entire time sitting their ass down for like three hours with the potential to play. I would fully be willing to be paid $250,000 to sit down and watch football games. Legit, that would be awesome. But that's not how it works, obviously. um, uh, Not a great football player, not going to try and go pro or anything. Not confident in my abilities. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm just saying Josh Norman should be punished in some way. Panthers fans, I'm not hating on the Panthers. I'm not hating on any of you. I'm not even hating on Josh Norman. He's a good guy. Uh, He's a great player, obviously. He's a... An amazing cornerback. Uh, and uh, I'm just saying Josh Norman should and at least get a fine. A fine. That's it. But if if an, if not anything, uh, that's really fine. Uh, hopefully Odell appeals this and gets 